Now let's get to juncture. What might this be? Try to pronounce this. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay. Uh, why have I underlined this? those namely words? So all the phonemes involved in the underlined words are the same, right? The same phonemes. There are still subtle differences that help us tell the deed, the action from the dessert, right? Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. The context helps us. There are slight variations that help us. Um, so the same subtle differences in the use of phonemes are also found in the underlined words in the following examples. The clock keeps ticking. The kids keep sticking things on the wall. Right? The same phonemes, different words, right? So the differences in the pronunciation of the underlined words, despite the fact that the phonemes are the same, are differences of juncture. A deeper analysis of such examples, right? We need special machines there. Uh, would show differences in the length of vowel sounds, variations in degrees of syllable stress, um, differently timed articulation of the consonant sounds and allophonic variations too. So while the phonemes may be the same, listeners have no difficulty most of the time uh, in telling where the join is and the context clearly plays an important role here. So other examples showing the same phenomenon are, that's my train, it might rain. The great apes, the great apes. Uh, can I have more rice? Can I have more rice? Occasionally, the coincidence of sounds can lead to examples where listeners may hear an unintended word. For example, it's no joke. It's no joke, snow. Um, it's tough, stuff. So um, I have got here two actually famous examples. One of them uh, concerns a misheard lyric from Jimi Hendrix song, Purple Haze, where the line is, excuse me while I kiss the sky. People heard, excuse me while I kiss this guy. Uh, assimilation also plays a role here uh, in the assimilation of the k in sky to the. Also, um, now a more recent example, um, Taylor Swift song uh, where um, the line goes, um, um, I got a long list of ex-lovers and the internet <laughs> couldn't understand because what they heard was, what people heard was, got a long list of Star Starbucks lovers. So, um, don't panic. Uh, these are very rare cases and still, uh, um, the context will help us get a better understanding of what is being told to us. So keep practicing and improving yourselves.